Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a mom vlog and it is a bit of a cautionary tale. I'm going to talk to you guys about an incident that happened with my oldest daughter a few weeks ago. So like I was telling you guys in my first video, my oldest daughter is 14. Uh, she's almost 15. She's a high school freshman and she's pretty much the golden child out of my four girls. She stays out of trouble, keeps the room clean, does her homework, helps out around the house, never really have to get onto her about anything. So this incident really threw me for a loop. So I picked her up from school and we came home and she asked me about sending off a letter for a friend, which I didn't think anything of. Um, she brought the envelope out and went to go and put it in the mailbox and I noticed that it didn't have a stamp on it. So I uh, told her, you know, you're going to have to send that with a stamp, otherwise they're just going to have to return it. So she brought the envelope to me and uh, realized that it wasn't even addressed properly. So I talked her through how to actually address an envelope and realized that the address that it was being sent to was in Green Bay, Wisconsin, which was really strange because we live in Nashville and all of her friends that I know of are local. So I asked her, who do you know that lives in Green Bay, Wisconsin? And she says, well, it's my friend that I met online. And I thought, well, who does she know that she's meeting online? She doesn't have any social media or anything. And she says, well, we met through Roblox. And I said, well, how do you know this person is who they say they are? Which to her knowledge, it was a 14 year old girl like herself. And she says, well, I've seen her picture. And I asked her, well, how in the world did you see her picture? And come to find out they had exchanged phone numbers and had been texting each other and exchanging selfies. And so I asked her, well, does this person have our address? And at the time, she denied it, but as I found out a few days later, they did in fact exchange addresses. So I asked her, well, how do you know this person is the person in the pictures like they're telling you and you aren't being catfished? Because as far as you know, um, they could have stolen these pictures from somebody else, or maybe these are not even a real person in that picture. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but there are websites out there where there are computer generated images of people that look like real people that you could see just walking down the street. I know she didn't know that. So I pulled up the website for her and the one that we used was this person does not exist.com. And I refreshed the page over and over and over and picture after picture after picture popped up and she was floored because they look like real people and they weren't. And so I said, sweetheart, this person could be anyone. As far as you know, it could be a 50 year old man that lives down the street and he's preying on you because he has a thing for children. I said, you are playing a game that is made for children, but predators go where their prey is. And if it is a pedophile, they're going to be online on these kids games pretending to be kids just like you and she was very skeptical um she didn't seem like she was very receptive to what i was telling her so then i pulled up the neighborhood watchdog website now this website is uh, one with a real-time map where you punch in your address and it'll show you who uh, all the sex offenders are in your area and it'll tell you actually what they've been convicted of. So I put in our address and our blue house popped up in the middle of the map and I said, do you see that blue house in the middle? And she said, yeah. I said, that's our house. Do you see all the red dots around that blue house? She said, yeah. I said, these are people that have been convicted of violent sex crimes. I said, now I want you to look at the yellow dots that are around the blue house. She said, wow, that's a lot. I said, yeah, these are people who have been convicted of crimes against children. And she was floored. She couldn't believe it. I said, sweetheart, there is such a thing as a grooming phase where these predators will tell you everything that you want to hear. They make everything seem like sunshine and unicorns. And they do that so that they can gain your trust. And then before you know it, they're asking you to meet up and then you are snatched up and gone and we never see you again. 
Now, Nashville is a huge hub for human trafficking. Um, unfortunately, um, I've seen and taken care of many people who've been victims of human trafficking as, as a nurse in the ER. Um, and I had to explain that to her. I said, the last thing that I want is for you to end up in some sort of human trafficking ring. I don't want your face to be one of those kids that's up on the wall in Walmart or Kroger. Have you seen this child? I don't want that for you. Your safety and the safety of your sisters is paramount to me. Nothing else is more important than that. So if I have to be the bad guy, if you need to hate me, then you go ahead. I'm okay with that, but you're gonna be safe as far as I'm concerned. So um, she wasn't very happy um, that she had to in communication with this person, but I told her that it just wasn't safe. Um, we made a compromise that I would chaperone for her and her friends at school so that they'd be able to spend some time together because I found out that the underlying problem and the reason why she felt like she needed to reach out to people that she met online was she felt like she was cooped up here at home and she wanted to be able to make new friends and um, I mean, I, I get it. I was a teenage girl once too, so it's totally understandable how she was feeling, but she let her desire to form friendship completely erode her judgment and make herself um, potentially a victim to a predator. And hopefully moving forward, she's gonna be smarter about the things that she's doing online. Um, and we're going to work on rebuilding that trust in our relationship as a mother and daughter. Um, but that's pretty much all I've got for today's video. Um, parents, be mindful of the things that your kids are doing online. Talk to them. Um, monitor their activities online because even the most responsible kid uh, could fall victim to this sort of thing. Um, if you guys have your personal stories that you'd like to share uh, down in the comments, please do so down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. My next video, which should be out um, either Thursday or Friday, will be my own personal ER story time. Um, but thank you guys all for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.